Has it been different with uh, Pelosi handing off the baton to Hakeem? Yeah, I think each leader has their own style. Um, each leader has their own style. I think, um, you know, Speaker Pelosi um, had kind of strong, uh, strict mom vibes, um, <laughs> and I think that That's was great. you know I that was it. important. That's how she herded all of us to to come together and to vote on bills. I mean, I, you know, people. Someone said to me once, like, "You're fearless," and I I thought to myself, should I tell them that I once hid in the women's bathroom? after taking a vote so the speaker couldn't find me. Oh my I God. mean, and when I went in there, by the way, there were other people hiding. <laughs> um, there was a whole little group of us hiding in the women's bathroom, and which of course she can come in and find us. We shouldn't <laughs> hit in the men's. And, um, but so I think that you know, each leader has their strength. I think Speaker Pelosi was really good at kind of creating that, that voting discipline mm -hmm. um, and keeping everyone, you know, this is what we're going to do and you're going to get in the boat and we're all going to point this direction. Um, I think Hakeem um, is a really gifted communicator. I yeah. think he's a very naturally comfortable communicator. Um, he's from a different part of the country. He's from New York. He's our first black um, speaker. And so I, I think they both have different things. The, the House definitely feels different mm -hmm. um, with Hakeem in, in charge instead of Nancy. And I, I think you know, people have their different preferences. But I think that change, that transition is very, very healthy. And right. Democrats need to have confidence in this next generation of leaders. And this next generation of leaders needs to earn our confidence. For sure. That's a fact.